<coughs> so today we tie a yeah, um, so today we tie a pike streamer. It's a, just plain usual fiber streamer. I don't think everyone is uh, tying fiber streamers on the same way, or nearly the same way. Um, so I'll tie it with uh, big streamer fibers. Oh, sorry, baitfish fibers. Today we tie it with baitfish fibers. It's a little bit curly, gives it a little bit more volume. And we tie it on a 6 0 big mass hook and we start with a thread wrap tying with a Vivis 200 denier uh, jail spawn thread. And um, yeah, we uh, tie it in some cream white and uh, grey, greyish color. We uh, start with the belly. Oh, we start with the belly. Taper the fibers a bit and, uh, and tie them in. First, a short piece to uh, to stable the tail a little bit. Good thread wraps. You can fold it back. a little bit super glue to prevent it from slipping on the hooks. And then we have to tape our tail a bit. on these flies but um, unfortunately the pearl color is not available anymore uh, therefore I'm just using some gold but you can use any kind of flesh material in it I just like really thin flesh material in it just because it's blending better with the fibers and uh, it's not overdoing it just, Gives it a good look, that's at least what I think. So, um, what we do then, we go forward to the uh, back color of the fly, that's grey in this case, and uh, we tie it in just a little bit longer than the tail, just a bit, maybe half a centimeter, and then tie it down, some good thread wraps. Up front again. Always make the thread wraps around half a centimeter wide. And then we take our leftovers from the from the belly. Tie them in as well. Just tie it down, it doesn't have to be too strong. We can tighten it later. Just make sure the position is right. And there's actually only one key point to tying these fiber flies. And that's when you tie in the fibers and then reverse them. You want to spread the fibers a little bit around the, uh, the thread wrap to try to get this thread hidden by uh, by the fibers but uh, because I use a little bit less material uh, not really much material for the tail section 
um, just because I think it's giving it a better tape. You can still see some here, but um, they will disappear within preceding the fly. So, keep it like that. Okay, so a really good fish like tape, uh, a taper. And we take some more grey. Now we uh, take a little bit bigger amount of grey. Five percent half. Just tie them on top of it. You should lose wraps. Work the fibers around the uh, upper half of the shank and then tighten them down. Take our cream color again. Just a fair amount. Like that. Here we cut the fibers as well. Fold them. Cut them in half. And cut them in half once more because we don't really need that long fiber length for the uh, belly section. So we tie them like we did with the grey on the back, three loose wraps, get everything in position and tighten it down. I'm going to use a little bit of flesh again, not much, that's why the uh, EP Sparkle is so great. I think you could use some kind of Angelina fiber as well, but it's not that long. So for the Pike streamers at least, you really need these EP Sparkle stuff or uh, some other longer flesh material. But uh, yeah, you can also use a uh, Hedron Flashable or the Fly Scene. It's, uh, the Fly Scene Flash is uh, quite thin as well and looks quite good as well. So give it some good wraps. side secure it with a little bit of super glue just these um, synthetic fibers they are always quite slippery so it's never a bad decision to secure them with some additional glue so we take the grey once more and we put it, cut it in half again. This time we can use quarters as well because we are coming to the head section we don't need that longer fibers anymore. I think, let's see if yeah, it should work. So just tie it on top. And then we come to our belly section again. Our white cream. Just tie it on top as well. Work it a little bit around the hook. Two or three wraps. Check if everything is in position here. This might go a little bit further up to hide the thread wraps there a little bit more. And then just tighten it down. Pull the fibers back.
two loose wraps. Work them around so you don't see the thread wraps anymore because that will be getting ugly if you see them. And then tighten them down again. Same procedures always. And now we go for, I think, the last section. You can use some monofill thread here. I don't know if I have any. Oh, you have some here. So let me show you that. I'll just do a little quick whip finish. Some super glue to secure it. And then we change the thread to a monofill one. So it took me a little bit. But here we got a 0.10 Vivas monofill thread on it now. And the good thing is if we put glue on that one. It's getting see-through and uh, we get a nice finish of the fly. So, uh, but it is quite thin and uh, it can break if you tie these uh, streamers. So, let's hope it works. Of course, you can't apply that much pressure now onto the uh, onto the. Um, Bobbin, but because you have some super glue on the due to the uh, finish of the other thread, um, I think we should be fine. for the belly again. Tight in there as well. All the way forward to the hook eye. Like that. And we do the same thing we did all the time. belly side, fold them back as well, secure them with a few wraps and make sure that everything of the thread wraps before it's hidden in them. We just give it some decent thread wrap just to secure it, make some knots in it. Hit the uh, monofill thread now with the super glue. It's getting see through and uh, gives it a really, really nice finish. You have to use a quite liquid glue for it though, because it has to soak into the um, material. You can brush it out now, which uh, gives it a little bit more volume and also is hiding the thread wraps even more. We have to do then is uh, always the same, it's the cutting. And I don't know if you can see it, what I'll do here. But usually I'll just brush the fibers out like that once. Fold them a little bit backwards and I'll take the scissors and just go in a V-shape all the way up to the head. Do the same on the belly, just in a V shape. So this is giving me kind of the average taper already. 
And uh, what I do now is just cutting the uh, the head and therefore just bending the fibers up in a 90 degree angle from, from the hook shank. And then I just cut it along the hook shank like that, just make it a straight cut. And then do a curve here. It's not the right scissor to do it, but I hope that it works. Just uh, usually you should use smaller scissors for the head section, not the big ones, and especially one which is cutting properly. But I uh, just found this one. I don't know where my smaller scissors are, so but it should work like that as well. And what you want to do then is um, taper the edges as well, so you don't have sharp edges, and then you want to have a round belly. You can fold the fly backwards like that. You can see all the hair which is sticking out. You can cut it as well. Okay. And we do the same to the head section. Hold a 90 degree angle. Yeah. Just cut it straight. And then get a little round shape in it and smooth the edges. So You always have to know when you have to stop cutting because if you cut too much, your fly is gone. But I think this, this is okay for now. Just uh, idea all works I just don't have my little small scissors so I have to improve a little bit in this cutting technique but this is actually working really good first time I'm doing that and I'm really really keen on doing that again because this is really working much better than uh, cutting it with scissors and you really get a nice beige tape in it. That's good. I think I'll keep on doing it with the razor blade so uh, forget the scissors um, and start cutting fibers with the razor blade as well. With a really sharp one then. And you get a really nice belly taper. Then we use some eyes again. I use some red eyes again and just grab the E6000 here as well. Works well with these uh, fibers. Just a fair amount. Top of the eye. On the other side as well. It also is hiding the last thread wrap if they get a little bit visible after cutting because that can happen and uh, just get a little eye tool Give it a few seconds to set. You can remove the eye tool. And 
and have finished pike fly tied from baitfish fibers the thicker one not the not the fine ones